Uh, not far off 150 Serie A meetings now. Milan comfortably lead the head-to-head -head and are one short of 60 top flight wins over Torino. Just have that solitary point cushion over Inter at the top going into the game. 27 league matches, they'd uh, been unbeaten since football resumed post-lockdown back in the summer. Until that loss against Juventus. The first since losing here against Genoa on the 8th of March last year, 304 days earlier. They've been uh, without their talisman since uh, late November against uh, Napoli. Zlatan, who scored 10 goals through his first six appearances of the season, will be hoping for number seven from the subs bench a little later tonight. Here come the teams. Not since Voltus Nachner's winner in March of 1985 have Torino beaten Milan at San Siro in Serie A. 24 unsuccessful attempts have followed. History is not necessarily on their side tonight. They have beaten Milan in two of the club's last three meetings. And they arrive keen to prove that progress is being made under Marco Giampaolo. Difficult start to his first season in charge, as it was last year here at San Siro, where he was afforded just seven games before being dismissed. Too short a period, he says, to make any type of judgment on his tenure. His team will be out to back the... Well, Milan out to prove the end of their long unbeaten start in Serie A was merely... ...in actually on Juventus' all-time record of 44 games. He has to learn from in particular. Pills for a hand in there. Referee is content to let it continue. Again, it's Bellotti against him. Back to Castillejo again as the Spaniards attempt to combine. Castillejo, the corner had been taken short. Cleared only as far as uh, Tonali. Champions three suspension, but straight back into the side. Needs must really for Milan in the midfield at Nandes. The hour with a touch. Brahim Diaz. Tayo Hernandez will need them here. Still with Casting this season, despite the fact that he hasn't featured since November. Tayo Hernandez. Hauga. Tayo Hernandez again was looking in the number nine position. Here he goes again. Line open up for Tayo Hernandez. Conceded. Tonali with the free kick. Real Madrid Loney waits to take and uh, delivers dangerously. About 60 million euros for him over three years ago. Torino wanted 100 million euros at the time. So I thought they may go. Scored more at an away venue. Distances between the players is really a long way. Coming into it back into it to uh, deliver the cross as well for the corner kick but takes it short to Hauke Bellotti strong initially to hold on to good movement a lot of confidence there goes Kessie and this time it will be delivered directly into the danger has been back with the the full group the possibility of another one that's this season Swings it in, but straight into team. Pioli came in to replace him. That's now this season. Here come Milan through the middle. Rafael Liao is in. And there's the goal that the early dominance has surely deserved. Taken smartly by Rafael Liao. Inspired perhaps by the presence of the top scorer Zlatan back on the bench tonight, but he's been in fine form himself recently. Fifth goal of the season. And just reward, really, for the Rossoneri's early... 25 minutes they've had so far, given how Torino have either approached it or been forced. Breaks for Singo to try and sling in the cross. Where Rodriguez was arriving, one wing back to the other. Milan. Brian Diaz did really well to trick his way into the penalty area and questions as to the referee. Diaz left to beat the ground in frustration as Fabio Maresca... So his play on, might be one for VAR maybe, up from the spot against Surigu. It's cruelly done from Kessi for 2-0 Milan, he takes full advantage from the spot and the leaders double their advantage here. He's got a great technique on penalties, just so calm, I think maybe is he too casual yet, he just strokes it into the bottom corner just about every time.
Milan have been so on top. They certainly deserve to be ahead. His three-year tenure at the club. Yeah, spent with PSV in the Eredivisie last season as well. It's a free kick. Just ahead of Bremer. And still with Rafael Liao. He was trying to tee one up for Brahim Diaz. Rodriguez had read the intention. They've looked for a while. Verdi will get it back. Must have gone this time for the challenge on him before Bremer blasted it. It is Ricardo Rodriguez. It was a wonderful effort which comes back off the bar. So close. Win here in this fixture. Might be in here. It was played forward by Bellotti towards Verdi. Fail layout taking the pass from Tessie and returning it to him. He's in again here. Siracu with a save. Very near. Operation against Castillo as well. This team collectively have never really perhaps recovered their composure. There is a helping for from his team tonight after the midweek defeat at the break here. You can see Lanetti, one of those that will come on, but they have to get on the front foot, start attacking. And maybe that's where that stat comes from. In the last half hour, they can see so many goals because they find themselves behind. They're going to have to push forward. They're going to have to open up. And that does leave themselves open to the counter-attack. Lanetti is, as you say, going to come on here. He'd started every game in Serie A so far this season. Until tonight, the Polish international. Look, maybe a little off the pace again. And the Rossoneri get us restarted in charge and set to retain top spot this weekend as it stands. And that difficult, so it does all point to Milan really storming on. As Calabria was attempting to do to take, he's going to leave it though with a touch for Tonali. And he's overhit that one to throw himself. Belotti with a flick towards uh, Verdi, he goes down and penalty given. Simone Verdi caught, Torino with a chance here to halve the deficit. Well, this is another contentious one because Ricardo Rodriguez for Torino disguised the ball into the box towards Bellotti didn't quite the action shortly but it's uh, Torino on the attack in the meantime with Bellotti took it back in field and does get the decision here takes it into the danger area played as far as uh, Lanetti who had Hauger in the week and Singo surges forward he's covered really good ground here just ran out of room at the end of it. He is going to get the corner kick. A bit more urgency injected by... Tolanolo's just come on. Is he going to step straight into the spotlight? Torino committing plenty forward into a very congested penalty area, but the delivery wasn't good enough, and it was comfortably cleared by the first line of defence. They have fashioned a little bit of space here, and they've got plenty of men in the middle, but the cross cut out. Sepachuk Muru, who did start against Elas Verona in uh, midweek. He's got the fix midweek. Takes the free kick here into the danger area. Simon Kier just about. Greece get themselves into the lead. Yeah, this is also.